Hi, I'm John Zoller for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. This week, we hosted Google Cloud Next in San Francisco. Generative AI was a big focus throughout, particularly the many new offerings across Vertex AI and Duet AI, highlighting all the new ways to cloud. Overall, we announced a huge collection of new APIs that you can start using, including data analytics tools, including updates to BigQuery Studio and Dataplex, and database services, including Alloy DB AI and several Duet AI database services. To check out these and all the other new tools, see the link in the episode description. Heads up, web developers. Earlier in 2023, Go 1.20 shipped a preview of profile-guided optimization for users to test. After addressing known limitations in the preview and with additional refinements thanks to community feedback and contributions, PGO support in Go 1.21 is ready for general production use. See the Profile Guided Optimization User Guide for complete documentation. Web.dev has put together a new and useful guide for developers to ensure that they have 100% testing coverage across the four common types of code coverage strategies. Check out the guide to improve your code coverage today. On the Chrome side for the 117 release, we have three new CSS features that make it easy to add smooth entry and exit animations, array grouping to compute higher order data sets, dev tools to make local overrides easier, and plenty more. For the full details, check out the video linked in the description. The WeatherBench 2 API has been released. It facilitates a revolution in weather forecasting, time fueled by advances in machine learning. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm John Zoller for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.